into the arena, Heath Ryan, the Rubenstein Stallion, Regarde Moi. Proceeding at collected trot. And into the extended trot. Heath uh, having performed at uh, a World Cup final in Las Vegas with Regard et Moi. Rachel Sanna having qualified for the World Cup final in 2012. And into the trot half pass to the left. A little bit on the shoulders. But good crossing. Heath getting the maximum marks out of the black stallion. And transition to Passage, coming just a little bit early. Working on the energy from behind. Transition to the extended trot, the uh, showpiece of the Grand Prix special test, passage, extended trot, passage, the difficult half pass all the way across and back again, the one-time changes between the pirouettes, the pirouettes positioned at D and G at a difficulty, strong passage there from Heath, getting the most from Regard et Moi, collected trot, working on the energy and elasticity into the trot half pass to the right. And transition to passage again at sea. Could be even more equal behind, a little bit shorter with the left hind. Heath correcting it now. Transition to the extension. So perhaps Heath uh, in a little bit too much shoulder four position there. Into the ex passage again. Coming a little too high in front, perhaps. Heath has his own style of riding. Extended walk now. A little bit free. Should be a little more through the pole. But well done by Heath. Uh, he's back in form. He had some difficulties with the horse curling behind the contact. No risks there. A little bit tight in the collected walk and very early to the Piaf. So not much collected walk, only um, 12 metres plus what it takes to get out to the centre line for the Piaf and not really showing as much as he could have there. But nicely in the Piaf, clean enough out into the passage. Very sustained passage, no problems with the balance, with the rhythm. Always working to do even more from behind, but regarding moi thinking about the Piaf a little too early, coming, wanting to at the quarter line, so corrected, just a tiny error. Great in the Piaf. Well done out into the passage. and transition coming up to the canter. Collected canter, Heath with his all too characteristic high hands. Into the canter half pass to the right. Very fluent, good crossing, good balance, makes it look so easy. 
Nice balance for the flying change. Very similar, good symmetry. Back to the left. Heath, a specialist in the half pass. Two time changes, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Well done. A few mistakes creeping in with the Tempies last night, so Heath doing a great job there. Could be a tiny bit straighter, but well ridden. One time changes. Achieved. Heath moving a little in the saddle and the one time changes. Extended canter could be a little more over the top line, a little bit rounder, a little more jump and elasticity fairly straight for the change. Down centre line, working hard to get him straight. Regarde my wanting to lead with the quarters. Not a lot of jumps there, but a very nice pirouette. And difficulties with the straightness. The one's achieved again, working hard to get him straight. Counter pirouette right. Canter pirouettes, a highlight in the test. First one perhaps better than the second. A little bit of difficulty with straightness going in. The only blemish. Collected trot, extended trot. Into the passage. Heath and Rosie Ryan, great contributors to horse sport in Australia. Heath, a uh, very successful eventing rider. Both Heath and Rosie, very successful dressage riders, trainers, breeders, producers of horses, and trainers of riders. Great contributors. Final passage and the halt. Great job. Well done, Heath. So, um, so far in this class, in the lead is Rachel Sanna, 71%. Second, Gita Donvig, Port Said, 10, 63.875. In third place, Sheer Etiquette, 63.667. We're still waiting on results for Rosie Ryan, for Heath Ryan, for Carolyn Wagner, Louisa Hill. So, provisional results at this stage.